Hello and welcome back to Merkman Tips. Today we have a 2016 CLA 220 diesel and the engine management light is on the dashboard. We are going to plug in our x entry diagnostics to see what fault codes come up. Now, when we go on to the engine management, the fault code that comes up says the charge movement flap has a malfunction. This is basically the flaps in the inlet manifold and using the diagnostics, I tried to actuate the motor, but the rods in between the flaps and the motor does not move. So we have decided to change the inlet manifold. Under the bonnet, we have the lovely OM651 engine. But on this CLA, because it's a front wheel drive, the engine is fitted transversely. Whereas on a C-Class or an E-Class, where the vehicle is rear wheel drive, the engine is fitted longitudinally. So as we can see, the inlet manifold is buried under a lot of parts, so there is a lot of work to be done. We have our new manifold ready, so let's get this job started. The first part to remove is the EGR cooler. The EGR cooler is off. And don't forget the gasket. I will now also remove this air intake pipe. The air intake pipe is off. Now we are going to remove the aircon compressor. I nearly forgot to remove the refrigerant. Now that we have the AC compressor out, the next part to remove is this EGR pipe. The EGR pipe is off. Now we remove this air intake part. The air intake part is off. Now I also had to loosen this bracket to get to one of the bolts and the four bolts connecting it to the throttle valve can only be accessed from underneath. The next part to remove is the throttle valve. The throttle valve is off. The next part I'm going to remove is the alternator. And don't forget to disconnect the battery. Now that the alternator is removed, the next part is this aluminium bracket. So we have removed the bracket, which also has coolant running through it. We can start to see the manifold more clearly. But the next part to remove is this EGR part. Now that this part is off, We are nearly there. The last part to remove is this fuel pipe. We have taken the fuel pipe off and finally we can access the inlet manifold. We can already see there is a lot of carbon buildup, 
which is most likely the cause of the fault. Now, let's remove the manifold. Finally, we have the inlet manifold off. As you can see, there is some carbon buildup. Now let's take a closer look at the manifold on the bench. So looking at the flaps, they are all in place and we can't see any broken. But when we move the rod, the flaps don't return to their open position. Now comparing this with the new manifold, when we move the rod, the flaps return to their open position very strongly. Now we have given the intake side of the engine block a clean and we have our new manifold ready. Let's quickly box this engine up and get it started. When I say quickly, I mean quickly. See, very easy. The last part is fitted and the coolant is topped up. So let's go ahead and start the engine. That's another job done. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Merkman Tips.